Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravin Jain here, your electrical faculty and in this video I am going to talk about the complete equivalent circuit of HVDC link. So let's start the video, one by one we will talk about the different points. So let's start. The combining the equivalent circuit of the rectifier and the inverter the total equivalent circuit of the HVDC link is shown in this figure. So this is the basic figure which I have included for you that the for the equivalent circuit of HVDC link. So what we are actually doing, we are just, it is also written here, combining the equivalent circuit of rectifier, whatever the equivalent circuit of the rectifier which we have discussed and the inverter, we are combining both of them. So then we are we will have we, we, we will have the total equivalent circuit of HVDC link which is from rectifier to inverter. In this way this is going to be drawn here. So look at the uh, diagram carefully because this is going to be interested here. Okay now look at this. When you uh, this uh, you are going to face here uh, not face you you will have this the voltage value which is the variable because it is varying the VDO1 the cos alpha it is varying on the basis of alpha that is the firing angle and similar pattern the, on the inverter side we will have vd2 cos gamma in the rectifier side we are generally taking the alpha that is the your uh, you can say the firing angle and here uh, the extinction angle and the angle of advancement we are going to take this okay now look at this as the rc1 and the minus rc2 is written here so please remember this when we will have the rectifier when we will have the rectifier then this is going to be 3 omega ls upon pi and when we are having the inverter then we are going to have the minus rc2 that is the 3 omega ls upon pi okay and in between them there will be a resistance r and the id is going to be flow here look at this this is the total voltage which is uh, which is represented that is the vd1 so it is representing for the, in, uh, you can say the rectifier side and this VD2 actually representing on the inverter side. Okay guys, so this is a basic fundamental diagram which is connected in series all and over these are all are connected in series. Now, the expression for the direct current that ID. So ID is actually representing the direct current that is the DC voltage value. And which can be obtained from the figure it means this uh, the figure value okay we are going to obtain the id value so id is equal to vd1 minus vd1 upon 2 so that is not the vd1 that is a vd2 here okay so that is uh, written in small i i think that will be visible now for you so that is the v, uh, vd1 okay so this is the id is equal to vd1 minus vd2 upon r this is the potential difference between the two ends and divided by the resistance in between them that will be our uh, uh, representation now look at this now or id can also be represented as the vd what is the vd1 this is the vd1 okay and this is the vd2 now as the vd1 this is the vdo1 cos alpha and this is the vdo2 cos gamma sorry cos beta cos beta it can be represent cos gamma it can be represent depending on the conditions which we require Okay, guys. So don't worry about that. The gamma we have written, the beta we have written. Don't worry about that. It can be represented as a gamma. It can be represented as beta, depending on the conditions. Okay. Now this is R C one, R and R C two. These are written here. Okay. Now R C one is the equivalent resistance of the rectifier. R C two is the equivalent resistance of the inverter. R is the resistance of the transmission. So all three are uh, represented here. So this is the basic equivalent uh, circuit of the HVDC. Whenever we are going to um, solve any numericals, this is the only concern will be there uh, for solving. Okay. So I hope you have understood uh, all the concepts related with the complete equivalent circuit of HVDC link. Thank you so much.